Trust and the Kennel Club in the UK came together with trainer and behaviourist Caroline Manteith to give every puppy the very best start in life. From the moment they are planned, we must make sure each puppy has the chance to be the best dog it can be. For the vast majority of dogs, no matter what their start in life, their function will be that of a much-loved family dog and we should do everything we can to prepare them for this life. This is the most difficult job we ask of dogs. We expect them to fit in with children, dogs, cats. They will need to accept loud noises, sudden noises, being left alone and also being taken along when possible. The foundation for all this good behaviour is laid down in the first 16 weeks of a puppy's life. We can prevent many problem behaviours with a socialisation plan. We'll be going through this with our puppies right here at Dogstress in Malta. This will give the puppies a far more certain future and the new owner's peace of mind. We'll be going through a step-by-step, -step, simple and comprehensive socialisation plan for the first 16 weeks to be carried out by us, the breeder or the early caregiver and the new owners. For the first two weeks, puppies cannot hear and cannot see, but they will still benefit from a little bit of stimulation. We'll do some exercises, five seconds for each puppy, for each exercise, just to get them used to being handled and being stimulated by human touch. Now, this is Topa, and these are her five puppies. So I'm going to start the exercises as soon as Topa finishes cleaning this puppy. Oh, you cleaned them all. Brilliant. Okay, I'll, I'll do the other ones in the meantime. So we have, we need blue first. Where is blue? I've coloured them all. So I'll make sure, hey. So I'll make sure I do the exercises with each and every one of them. So the first one is hold the puppy on its back like this. Five seconds. Good puppy. And then you hold the puppy upright for another five seconds. Good girl. And then you hold the puppy upside down. This is getting them used to even being handled maybe at the vets. Good puppy. Now we can tickle between the toes using a nice cotton bud, just lightly, just a few seconds. You know, this will help you in the future with the groomer, won't it? Yes. Now we're going to rub your ears for a little bit. This needs to be gentle. And we'll place you on a damp towel, which conveniently is placed on the scale. So we will also find out how much she's put weight on. Oh, 500 grams. Very nice. Good girl. So I'll write down that. It's 500 grams. Day seven. And that was blue. So I'll mark it here to make sure I'm keeping track of what I'm doing. So I'll do this with every puppy to make sure they're all they're all gone through it. Yep. This is why I have them all colour coded, so I make sure I don't skip any at any point. Hey, so once again, hold the puppy on its back for five seconds. Good girl, Topa. Oh, good puppy. And then hold it upright. Good puppy. And then a little bit upside down. It's kind of like the head lower than the bum. Yes. Now tickle between the toes. Yes, just lightly. Ooh, yay! You don't like that, do you? Right. Now we rub the ears. They're actually getting better at this already on day seven. They don't wriggle as much. Good puppy. Okay. Damp towel. Do good weight gain there, 500 grams. Nice. 
and that's green. Five hundred grams. Do you want to eat? Okay. It's dinner time. <laughs> 